What's up peeps and fellow geeks, the average end user here and today I'm going to finish getting this Corsair case back together. Uh, got the grommets in, you know, got all the panels cleaned up, uh, just trying to make some fan choices here. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so that motherboard, the Gigabyte GA, I can't remember the rest of the numbers, um, only has two fan headers, the CPU fan header and one case fan header, that's it. So, depending on what I go with, I've got a couple of fan hubs here. Uh, I haven't actually used the Zalman fans in a build yet. Uh, I had them in a build, but they never got turned on because of the symbol. I couldn't orient them correctly, and they didn't fit. Uh, these four fans were fans that were already in that case. They need to be cleaned up real well, but... Uh, yeah, I was uh, not sure which ones to go with. I'll uh, decide here soon and uh, show you guys what I came up with. Okay, I'm back. I got the fans all cleaned up. I decided to recycle these and put them in um, just because I figured I would save the Zalmans for a new build and one that actually has, uh, you know, three fan spots instead of just the two that the current case does. I didn't bother cleaning up this V-True because, as you can see, uh, it's got a crack there in the frame and a crack there, so that's just going to go in the trash. All right, let's get these installed. All right, there we go. Got the front two fans installed. Get the dust cover on. Try to get it lined up. Kind of hard. I'm not left-handed. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. All right, now we'll get the front glass cover on. All right, front Case cover just snaps right on, nice and sleek, looks good. All right, let's get this top fan uh, installed here. All right, you got the V-True fan installed. Uh, this cover up here. Oh, wait, something's wrong. I'm missing something. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, top glass panel is back on. I don't understand why they made that so short. The other one is the same exact size, but... Um, okay. Okay, since uh, the motherboard only has one fan header available for chassis fans, and this has space for two, four, six, plus the CPU, so I'm going to use this. Fairly easy to install. You plug the PWM header in here, uh, give it some SATA power here, and should be good to go. Let's get this wired up. Okay, I have the three chassis fans hooked up. I just have to run this wire uh, around the front and plug it into the motherboard. Then we can get this back panel on and fire this thing up. Side note, not worried about this Molex connector. I'm 99.9% .9 sure all that does is power the LEDs in that top fan and I'm not really worried about that. Okay, so I just thought I would show you guys where the fan header is, and take a look right here. That little four pin jobby is where I gotta try and plug this in, as you can see. Oh, uh, you know, hand's a little bit bigger than the space, so yeah, it takes some finesse. Alright, got her installed. Last thing to do before we fire it up is check this out. I never even did it. There we go. All right, let's get it plugged in. Make sure everything works. <laughs> okay, I know it's not pretty, but everything is in there. And because it's a test bench, I'm really not worried about cable management. I'd rather have things accessible. So let's put the side panel in. Never have to look at that again. Well, at least until the next time. And poof, just like that, it's all better. Okay, so the ketchup and mustard tench test bench is all back together. I'm not going to put the side panel on just because of the reflection. You won't really be able to see the insides. So time to plug everything in. All right, moment of truth. Uh, power is on. Oh, everything is lighting up. Oh. Everything spinning. Kind of crappy about those blue LEDs. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Maybe I'll just switch the cooler to blue. And it looks like we are gonna get a post. 
There we go. I'll give you one shot of the side panel on. Okay, the Corsair Crystal. I'm not sure which model it, model it is. Uh, the previous owner didn't really tell me. Uh, it's narrowed down between a couple. Um, I had them written down, but I can't remember at the moment. But there we go. Now on to the next project, which will also include this. I believe it's an RX 490 or 590. RX 590, 580. Well, hopefully you guys can see it. 